Ooh, that looks tasty. Welcome, folks. Today, The Hungry Gamer is back with another Kickstarter preview. And as you can see, I'm not at the table. And that is because I've actually already done a video on this game. Probably about a year ago, it launched, it didn't make its goal, and now it is coming back. And I wanted to come back around and just talk about it again a little bit, mostly because it was one of my first videos and it's on the old camera without the microphone and with the bad lighting and, 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 and it's a little bit embarrassing. But what that does have is that does have the basics of how to play, so you can go check that video out if you would like now that I've given you all of the disclaimers, and that is down in the description of this particular video. Now, what the game is, is Paragon, Trials of the Chosen. And the big thing that's changed since they initially did their launch was they have finished the art assets of the game. I'm going to bring myself on up to the corner here and let you kind of look at some of those art assets, because one of the things that they were doing with the Kickstarter and why their goal was a little bit higher than it would have been expected was because they were trying to finish paying for all the art. Well, they've raised the money, they've done that since, and some of the cards that you see as I'm flipping through, they're clearly, the background's not done yet, but you get the idea of this is now a finished game. And I, back then and now, still think the art is quite, quite good. I'm actually a very big fan of the art in this particular game. and. The quick rundown of what's going on is you are playing as two avatars of the gods and you're battling it out with these other two avatars and what's going to wind up happening is one of you is going to win and be the best. But what's interesting about this game is that it is a zero luck game, even down to the point where you're going to create your decks and then you are going to stack your decks however you want. And what's more, you know how much energy or, or purchasing power you're going to have every single turn. So it's not like magic, you have to rely on, did I draw the right cards, the lands, so like play? Nope. You know every round there's going to be one more energy than the previous round, and that is what you have to spend. In addition to that, you don't shuffle your deck. So not only do you, as I said, create your deck however you want, but then you literally stack the deck how you want. So it is a bit of a game of, I'm going to say chess, but it's not a game of chess. It doesn't like a game of chess, but you see what I'm saying. And what's going to be happening is you are literally starting the game before you've even gotten to the table. And you're going to try to out deck build your opponent, and then we get into the game, and then it is a little bit more of a standard head-to-head -head card battler. You have your energy, you use your energy to buy your cards, put your cards out on your avatars, you use your avatars to beat on each other. And as you go through, you can break their swords and break their armor and, and all of those things. And it, it is, yeah, if you know card battling games, then you have an idea of how this is going to work. For me, I think if you are someone that likes head-to-head -head card battling games, and this is huge, and you like building your decks, and you don't like luck, then this game is your grail because there is truly, and when I've seen a lot of games say, oh, it's a no luck game, but then there's still a little luck. You're drawing the card here. You're flipping the tile here. Maybe you roll a die. No, no, no. There is literally no luck in this game. It is what, how can I outthink my opponent and prove that I am better than my opponent? And along with that, games don't take particularly long. They're pretty quick. They go fast. And so the, all of that, I think, is very, very cool. Now, here's the people that are not going to be interested in that. One, if you like luck and randomness, then this is not for you because there is no randomness and there is no luck. If you're not someone that enjoys deck building, then this might not be as good of an experience for you simply because that is, to me, a huge, and I say huge, huge part of the fun of this game is building those decks and creating the combinations of avatars that you like and each avatar gives you access to different weapons and spells and all of that but if you don't enjoy that then it's going to be an exercise and frustration for you because there are people that do enjoy that and the people who do enjoy that and are good at that are going to kick your butt because that brings me to the last thing this is a skill game 
I mean, there is a skill to building your deck and getting it stacked right and then playing it and then executing what you're doing. And if you are a novice at the game, you're probably going to get waxed several times. So there you have it, folks. And that is Paragon Trials of the Chosen. And again, you can check out my old video if you want to see roughly how the game plays. There have been a few rules changes since then, but the core of the game is the same. Reminder, it's an old video. Don't judge me too hard for the bad quality of everything. But again, if you are looking for a truly no-skill game and you like hard battlers, then this is a great option for you. And also, it looks great. So, there you have it, folks. That is Paragon Trials of the Chosen. I hope you found this video helpful to you as you're making your decision if you, if you should back this game or not. And as always, thank you all so very much for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.